Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be showing you how I made this super cute two-piece toddler knit set. If you're interested in how I achieved this look, please stay tuned. Alright guys, let's get started. So for my fabric, I'll be upcycling an old knit sweater dress. To make the pattern, I'll be using a toddler sweater and a pair of toddler jogger sweats. I also used a ruler, pins, measuring tape, and some scissors. First, I folded the dress in half, placed the folded sweats directly over the fold, Here I'm measuring the max amount of fabric to ensure that I have enough length for the pant. Then I drop the crotch down two inches. From that point, I start to cut, making sure to add at least one fourth inch to half inch seam allowance as I continued cutting around the pant. Then you should end up with something like this. And because we cut on a double fold, you should have a front and a back piece. Onto the bottom half of the dress, which is again on a double fold. I placed the folded sweater directly on top of the fold. Again, making sure that I'm using maximum amount of fabric here. Then I just went ahead and cut around the sweater along with the one inch seam allowance. And here I have my front and back piece. I took one of those pieces, folded it in half, Then measure down an inch from the neckline. From that point, I cut on a curve all the way around to the top of that shoulder point. Now I have the curved neckline for the front of my sweater. Moving on to the sleeves, but first before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and cut off all the excess fabric that I won't be using at this point. I uh, went ahead and saved those because I will be using those later on in the video. I placed one of the sleeve on top of the other and smoothed it out. Placed the sleeve on the sweater directly over the fold. Then I placed it back about an inch from the fold to add more to the width. And then I measured down two inches from the sleeve to add more length. And then cut across. Remembering to save the extra fabric. I flipped the sweater onto the other side of the sleeve, held the sweater tightly against the top of the shoulder seam then cut along that curved line with the half inch seam allowance. And I'm just cleaning up the side of the sleeve. And now we have two sleeves. Here I've grabbed a couple of scrap pieces to make the pockets, but I'm not gonna go into detail in this video because it's totally optional. Um, if you can follow, that's great, but I'll definitely go into more detail in another video for you. So here I'm just pinning the pockets two inches down from the waist, and then pinning them down. So after I got done pinning, I went ahead and sewed those sides down, and I did this twice for the front and the back. Now for this sweater, I laid the back side face up, and the front face down, 
Then I went ahead and pinned the shoulder lines down. And then sewed that down. Now I'm ready to sew. And I went ahead and set my sewing machine on a zigzag stitch. Anytime you're working with knits or any kind of fabric that has stretch to it, if you don't have a serger, it's best to use a knit stitch or a zigzag stitch so that you can avoid your thread popping and be able to keep that stretch in your garment whenever you wear it. So just keep that in mind. So after sewing the shoulders down, I opened the sweater facing right side up, grabbed one of the sleeves and on the center fold, I placed that on the center seam of the shoulder and from the center, I pinned that down and then went ahead and pinned down along the sides. And after pinning that down, it's ready to sew. So I went ahead and sewed both of the shoulders on and this is the inside of the sweater. It looks just like this. Then I'm flipping it inside out and here I'm pinning both the end of the underarm seams together. And now that's ready to sew all the way straight down. Here I took the bottom piece of the pant and laid that right side facing up. Then went ahead and flipped the pockets out took the other piece of the pant and laid that right side facing down and laid it as nice and neat as I possibly could. I pinned both the top and bottom corners of the pockets down. Then I went ahead and sewed down and around the pockets and straight down. And then the inside of the curve of the pant. So again, I sewed the pant and the sweater off camera and this is how it should look. So now I'm going to make the band for the collar, the waist, and the legs. So for the waistband, you're going to measure along the waistline, and times that by two, and the same for the bottom of the leg. So now I'm measuring the waistband on this double folded piece of scrap material, and I went ahead and add an inch for the seam allowance and cut straight across, and then cut across on the other side. Now I'm just cutting the fabric to make it nice and even and that's about two inches wide and then I went ahead and cut across on the fold and sewed the sides down. So for the leg bands I just went ahead and followed the same steps as I did for the waistband and there's definitely extra steps in this process in making the bands because of the limited amount of fabric that I have but I can definitely show you a quicker method the next time I have more fabric to work with. So to make the band for the collar, I measured the curved neckline in the front of the sweater. Then I measured the neckline in the back of the sweater and added both of those measurements together. On another piece of scrap material, that's on a fold. I went ahead and took that measurement and added about a half inch seam allowance. Then I went ahead and cut around the material to make the band as even as I could. Then I folded that band in half and sewed the end down. And here's the band. So I went ahead and took that band in half and folded it on the seam. Then pin that seam down. Then I lined the seam of the band on top of the seam of the shoulder. Then pin those together. From there I went ahead and pinned around the collar making sure that the band was folded in half and lined it as neatly as I could along with the line of the collar. And now that's ready to sew. So for the waistband, you're gonna follow the same exact step as you did for the collar band. Just go ahead and fold that in half and line that seam up with the seam of the pant on the side. And then go ahead and pin around, making sure everything is lined up nice and neat. So here are the leg bands. And again, I just follow the same steps as I did for the collar and waistband. Now the band for the leg will be narrow, 
so I pulled and stretched as I panned around to make sure the leg band was lined up evenly. Now I'm ready to sew the waist and the leg bands. And I'll still be sewing on a zigzag stitch. After sewing all the bands on the outfit, I realized I had enough fabric to make bands for the arms, which I went ahead and did off camera, but they'll look very similar to the bands on the legs, just like this. I saved the drawstring from the dress for the waistband, which I'm going to insert from the center front. I found the center, then cut about half inch slits, half inch from the middle. Here I have the drawstring and a safety pin. Then I inserted the safety pin at the very top end of the drawstring. I inserted the safety pin attached to the drawstring through one of the opening of the slits. And then I continue to push and pull the drawstring until I reach the opening of the slit on the other side of the waistband. I pulled to make sure both sides were even. And after successfully adding the drawstring, the outfit is now complete.